The episode starts with Khande Rao coming to meet Ishwari. Guard check him and let him in. Male Rao sees Khande Rao. He is tied up. The Naji says, "All the conditions are written on this. You have to take Khande Rao's sign on it." Ishwari asks, "Where is Male Rao?" He says, "He is outside with the guards." Ishwari burns the papers. He says, "I just had to call Khande Rao here. I want to kill him and take revenge." Dhana ji says you are talking like me you are brave don't you follow any battle rules iswari jokes on his disloyalty dhana ji says i lost everything to malwa iswari says if i snatch everything from malwa then if i kill malera went khandera then who will sit on the throne you would not need to leave hiding your identity my revenge will get fulfilled dhana ji smiles gunu ji says nima is a busy wrestler i convinced him to come everyone is worried for male rao dwarka asked did you explain him the work he says yes he will take part in the selection of the chief wrestler of the palace dwarka bai says fine if he loses then we will win but i am interested in his ayurved knowledge gunu ji says he has both the talents i am sure that khande rao will give him the position dwarka bai says sure He has to become Khande Rao's best friend. Gunu ji says, "Don't worry. He is much sharp in his work. He will be friend Khande Rao and also his work." She nods. She checks some herbs. She asks, "Will this kill someone?" He says, "No, but it would not let someone live well." Gunu ji says, "It's a weapon to defeat Khande Rao." Devi Ahilya comes to Ishwari Singh's camp. Male Rao sees her. She stops and sees a sack moving. She cries. She sees the guards around. She thinks, "Forgive me, Male Rao. One wrong step can become dangerous for you and Khande Rao. I have to reach the tent soon." She goes. Male Rao cries. Ishwari Singh welcomes Khande Rao. Khande Rao scolds him and says, "When I come, a storm occurs." Ishwari Singh jokes. He asks the guard to check Khande Rao. Khande Rao says, "You are scared of me." He stops the guards from touching his pagdi. Devi Ahilya is tensed. The men ask her to stand in the queue. She thinks to find some way. She thinks Khande Rao is weaponless. I can not trust Ishwari. She sees someone hiding. She signs him to go. Ishwari says, "Let him check." Khande Rao says, "I have let him check well. Pagdi is the pride of Maratha. I would not even let you touch it. My son is with you. I am helpless, but I would not lose my esteem. I have come here weaponless." You are asking the guard to check me. I heard something else about Rajputs. Are you a Rajput or not? He scolds Ishwari Singh. Ishwari Singh gets angry. Khande Rao says, "Our collaboration did not happen yet. I have to sign on your conditions, then return my son. It will be benefit of both, and also loss of both." Gautam Rani Sai prays and cries. Harku Bai consoles her. Gautam Rani Sai says, "It's two days. I do not know about Male Rao." Harku Bai says I am shocked how did Ishwari know about one bhojan someone from the palace told him Gotmarani sahib sees Gunuji and Dwarka Bai talking she doubts Gunuji Ishwari asks Khande Rao to have water Khande Rao scolds him and asks where is Male Rao Ishwari Singh laughs he asks him to sign the papers first after reading it well then he will be meeting his son khande rao stamps the papers ishwari singh smiles and thinks when you stamp the papers then i will kill you khande rao says take this i have fulfilled my promise ishwari singh throws the knife at him